Adam and Eve. And after the fall, the desolation, the desolation of humankind. How can we be reconciled with God? God is infinite. And when we disobey an infinite person in dignity, how can we make, up, make preparation for an infinite offense? There is nothing more grievous, dear brethren, than a mortal sin. We read, we read in the song St. John Vianney. He said, I burnt a bill of 500 francs, of I don't know how much dollars, the biggest bill you can burn. And he said, you know, that's nothing compared to a mortal sin. What is a bit of pepper compared to an offense down to God? And the world does not understand that. We need the special grace. Happy are we if we may understand the seriousness of sin and the duty of reparation. And then that kind after the fall of Adam and Eve were powerless. They tried. They tried. They offered sacrifices. It's through sacrifices that we may make preparation. A sacrifice is an action, a religious action, by which we give up something. And we show our giving up through destruction. We destroy something because we abandon the right of earth this thing. We manifest, it's not mine, it's given to God. It's a sacrifice. So they tried Abel, Cain, they tried to offer sacrifices. Noah and Abraham and Moses. Moses, inspired by God, dictated some laws for sacrifices. And they offered blood, blood of animals, of Goats, calves, oxen, hyphen. But what is blood for God? Mean blood of animals? It was not for God, it was for us. God wanted to teach humankind that redemption, reparation, will be at the cost of the blood, the cost of life. But all these holy patriarchs were still powerless. First, they were still guilty, and what they could offer was nothing. They were just, as I said, useful for humankind. And to the extent to, they were an, a figure, a preparation for the blood of the true Lamb who is coming now. It was only time now for the true Lamb of Jesus Christ to offer himself. After the fall, the second person of the Holy Trinity, you may get the Council, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Seeing the powerless humanity. The son decided to volunteer himself. I will come. I will be like them. I will share in their misery. I will take the body to be really like them. And by his, by his incarnation, he became priest. Priest. The day of his ordination, so to speak, is the day of his incarnation. On March the 25th, he assumed a human nature in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Though he was God, he is still God, he assumed a human nature. He is true God, true man. That's a, a mediator, as I said, Paul. The go between man, God, and man. And this priest, Jesus, prepared his 
sacrifice all his life with Mary. And he will not offer the sacrifices of the old law of animals, he will offer himself. Himself. Though he was not guilty of anything, but he took on him, on his shoulders, all our sins and make the punish. The sacrifice, the perfect sacrifice, the only sacrifice, but the bloody sacrifice that can be consigned us with our God, our need. So, dear brethren, it's a moment to, to rem remember what Jesus has suffered. We have traditional devotions. We can pray the rosary, especially the sorrowful miseries. On the top of the page of today's Mass in the Roman Missal, on the altar, we see the agony. The agony, the sweat of blood. And the other sorrowful miseries from the scourging, the crowning with gold, the carrying of the cross, and the crucifixion. We meditate also on the station of the cross. I wish more people could come, could come on Friday night, Friday evening. Please come at least once during this season. We meditate when Jesus met with his mother and was helped by Simon of Cyrene and St. Veronica and fell again. <coughs> met with the holy women who were weeping on him and said, don't weep over me, weep over you and your children. And he was this part of his vestments, nailed on the cross, raised on the cross, died. What more could have been done for us? In the office today, we said, Don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart. Open your ears and your heart to His voice. Yes, dear brethren, Christ Jesus Christ is the high priest and the victim at the same time, which is proper to the Catholic priesthood. I remember when Senior Bach, our prayer said, since I am a priest, I, I felt or I discovered two things that I didn't know before, betrayal and ingratitude. But, that's the love of everyone. You, dear brother, you are also priest and victim because your priesthood is related to Jesus Christ. And you cannot separate the priesthood from the victimhood. So maybe that's a good consideration for now, for this season. How do I live out my priesthood? and my victimhood. I'm still full of complaints when whatever goes not my way or do I accept and do I offer up all kinds of sufferings and we know we have all sufferings. It's part of the lot of humankind since original sin. But with Jesus Christ our sufferings are valuable if we unite them to the cross, if we offer them up in union with the sacrifice of Jesus. And if we do that, we will discover two things. First, how much Jesus has suffered and how much he loves us. If we are not able to offer up something, sufferings of penances. We cannot understand how much Jesus has suffered for us and how much He loves us. Let us turn to the Virgin Mary, the 
compassionate mother, our lady of compassion. And uh, let us ask her to give us a heart that we may feel in our heart the sufferings and the love of Jesus. That we may accompany our dear Savior in his passion. Don't let him alone. The fruit of this season will depend on your union with Christ. So dear brethren, open your missile again. What's going on in the church now is written in the missal. Withdraw from the world and its pleasures, you will not find what is of God. It is time to meditate, to sing with the church the beautiful hymns, Stabat Mater, Lexi Languages, all the beautiful liturgy that expresses beautifully the mind of Jesus Christ and the mind of his mother. And if we do that, certainly we will sanctify ourselves and we will sanctify the church. When one soul raises, all the world raises. As Jesus said in today's gospel, if you keep my word, listen to my word, you will not lie to your master. So, let us take a good resolution to be united with Jesus in his passion until we rise with him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.